Hi, my name is Shomo Bruto Roy. I'm a volunteer with AID, Association for India's Development, an organization which promotes sustainable, equitable, and just development. I coordinate a couple of projects on behalf of AID Bay Area Chapter. Today, I'll talk about one of those projects, the Sustainable Agriculture Project. The project is executed by Swanirbhar, a long-time partner of AID. Swanirbhar is a non-profit organization based out of Adharmanik village in the North 24 Perganas district of West Bengal. I had the opportunity to do a site visit to Swanirbhar in December 2017 and go to places where Swanirbhar is working on the ground level. The Sustainable Agriculture Project was conceived with the aim to develop home and community-based vegetable gardens and animal farms in underprivileged villages of rural West Bengal. The idea was to involve village women and train them to get knowledge on sustainable farming techniques, climate change, adaptation techniques, and health and nutrition. The target families were selected based on household income, availability of a certain amount of homestead land, and presence of one adult female in the family. I went to a village called Kopileshwarpur in Sharupnagar block of North 24 Parganas district. This village is very close to the Bangladesh border and is one of the five villages in that area where the project is being executed. Close to 120 families from this village are part of the program. This project focuses on food security and family nutrition at the community level by building a group of community mobilizers. These mobilizers are trained with the knowledge of nutrition and home-based kitchen garden using organic farming techniques. I was given a tour of a few home-based kitchen gardens as well as the seed bank that Swanirvar has built over time with the help of these mobilizers and the village foreman. Sharupnagar is a flood-prone area, so the fields get flooded due to rain on an annual basis. To address this, the Swanirbhar staff has come up with different approaches which help to protect the crop from flood during rainy season. I got to see techniques like farming on roof, use of trellis, land shaping, use of containers in narrow spaces, mixed cropping, use of unused lands for agriculture. Each of these techniques was coupled with organic methods like crop rotation, use of green manures and compost and biological pest control. I also interacted with a group of women who are at the forefront of this project. They are the ones who are engaged hands-on with Swanirpur on building sustainable solutions to their problems. They spoke to me at length and explained how they meet as a group to discuss the challenges and come up with solutions to those challenges. Some of them have also become experts in understanding how nutrition works. They are self-sufficient today when it comes to measuring nutritional deficiency in their families and communities. In fact, one of them gave me a demo on how to calculate BMI in a person. Rather impressive. I also saw how they have added animal husbandry to achieve their nutritional goals as a community. They have also learned techniques to take care of the poultry, ducks and goats and feed them as well as keep them safe from diseases. The Sustainable Agriculture Project has benefited close to 700 families over the last couple of years. The annual average income of these families has increased by nearly 50% post-intervention. Secured food availability for all families has increased by nearly 40%. Childhood undernutrition has reduced by 83%. The villages today have a healthier and more secure lifestyle thanks to this program. The visit was an enriching experience for me. It is one thing to hear about this and totally different to be able to interact with people on the ground and learn from them. I'm proud to be associated with this project and hope Aid and Swanirbhar continue to work together in the future towards a better tomorrow.